What up guys? How's it going? It's been a while since I last interacted with you guys and uh, in terms of what I bought uh, in terms of my uh, collection and uh, it's because I've been busy with uh, a few things uh, notably on uh, some other things that has uh, let's just say kept me away from my uh, toys. Nevertheless, I'm back and this time around we're gonna look at Thanos now uh, I think the year 2021 will introduce quite a lot of uh, villains into the Marvel Legends uh, setup uh, since we had a wonderful time uh, up to 2020 collecting all the heroes now it's time to give uh, credit where it's due to the villains because what is a hero without a, a villain a, a compelling villain and in the case of Marvel um, I would normally say they lack some credible villains, but Thanos has come into prominence because of the movie, and as such, I've gotten this particular uh, version of Thanos, which is his quintessential costume, and like uh, always, as I mentioned before, you know for my channel, I always go for that quintessential look. So here we have the Infinity Gauntlet Thanos from the famous uh, comic book uh, in which um, Thanos uh, gets uh, access to all six infinity gems and attaches them to his gauntlet uh, and with their combined power he becomes godlike and sets out the win the affection of mistress of death as you can see in this artwork here uh, with a view, uh, which is uh, Mrs. Dread being the living embodiment of death in the Marvel Universe, when Thanos uses his power to instantly kill half of the living beings in the universe, Adam Warlock leads Earth's remaining heroes against him. After the Infinity Gauntlet is stolen by Thanos' villainous granddaughter Nebula, Thanos aids in uh, the remaining heroes in defeating her. Then Warlock ultimately obtains the Infinity Gauntlet and uses his power to undo the death and destruction. So in the case of people who are more familiar with the movies, it was Iron Man who did the undoing, whereas in the case of the comic books, is um, Adam Warlock. Nevertheless, uh, I could sit around here and say I'm an expert on the movie or the comics. I am not. I just bought it for the sake of the figure itself. So let's see what you get. Uh, as usual, this is a deluxe packaging, so it's a bit more wider. And it, it uh, typically, I believe, uh, it is for the figures that uh, originally build the figures, but now they sort of repackage it and put it in a nicer. Uh, like a compact uh, version of it and that's why you get a deluxe version so you get a few of this like that it's a much bigger piece and obviously it goes for a much higher price so in this case let me look at big bad toy store it goes for 32 dollars apparently uh, but uh, not yet uh, arrived uh, it's still in a pre-order phase in big bad toy store but i got it locally so well it is what it is. Uh, so the packaging, as you can see here, comes with a nice window display. As you can see, the infinitely gauntlet with the, all the gems uh, highlighted there. Thanos, some nifty artwork of uh, how uh, he appeared in the comic book. Likewise there. And some product uh, descriptions uh, with a small caption here saying, The mad titan Thanos uses control of the hallowed infinity gauntlet and wields near omnipotent power. Who can stop this vicious new warlord? Well, we know from the story from uh, Wikipedia, it's uh, Adam Warlock, apparently. So, let's take this bad boy uh, out of the box and let's see what we get as a figure. Right guys, so here is Thanos out of the box and still inside the packaging or uh, the bubble. Uh, I, uh, I will take it out uh, eventually to see what we get uh, as a figure. But let's look at the backdrop and again, what a wonderful uh, drawing of the backdrop in terms of the, I believe the Thanos uh, throne and it kind of hovers around uh, space. Uh, pretty good in fact. Um, if you want to make it as a, like a backdrop display, it's uh, made out uh, or painted on a cardboard. So that's all going to be sturdy and whatnot. But I'm sure you're not here for the backdrop. So let's look at the figure. As you can see here, what a wonderful paint job. Look at the color. I mean, all uh, Thanos in all his glory. Now, uh, of course, it needless to say, we have to talk about some of the options and accessories that it comes with. Of course, it comes with uh, two fisty hands. Uh, uh, but I always like that, that sort of... that that. That, I don't know what you call that, that villainous, uh, you know, I'll get you next time. That um, 
uh, hand option and we do have it there with the uh, gems painted actually so um, uh, not much uh, detailed uh, in terms of actually looking like a gem it's just a paint job uh, but I suppose for this figure it's okay so you should have how many uh, one two three four five six six gems that uh, eventually will destroy half of the population of the universe so there you go uh, so that's the grippy hand some uh, kind of looks like there's something uh, some defects well, anyway, and then the other hand, uh, optional hand, is of course the famous snappity snappity hand. And look at that. It has that. I'm not too sure why when you destroy the world, you actually need to snap your fingers. I mean, seriously, if you if these gems can actually destroy, uh, let's say, the whole universe and whatnot, does it really need this kind of snappy action? I don't know. Anyway, comics, I tell ya. Let's, uh, regardless... Uh, uh, let's let's look at uh, what we get and here like I said is the simply simply hand that goes into the other um, hand option uh, as such which is pretty good I suppose and then what we also have is an alternate head which is uh, what we call as King Thanos now for those of you and uh, myself included who own the for instance the cosmic go right ghost rider uh, or the uh, what was it the obsidian silver surfer you know there was a storyline of that but King uh, well Thanos eventually wins I think it was maybe like a what if story or, or something like that where uh, uh, Thanos is uh, you know has won the game and 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 it's become old and he's, he's the new conqueror of the world and an emperor and whatnot so this uh thanos hit is actually king thanos with all this bearded look and uh you know uh obviously uh much older thanos with a crown essentially um that uh, you can use the same body to uh replace the head so that's a uh, pretty uh, nifty addition in my view uh, depending on what comic book you want to go but in my case like I said I needed a uh, villain uh, so the Marvel Universe that I'm going for so those of you who are who know my collection you know for a fact that I have this this sort of a collection for Marvel Universe uh, especially for the figures that look the part as per their original design or you know and whatnot so this Thanos uh, fits that bill uh, and also I, I'm in the mood for collecting villains right now because I have Doctor Doom I'm also putting an order for things like uh, Lady Deathstrike okay she's gonna go into my X-Men uh, universe uh, of course I bought you know things like Apocalypse and uh, this and that uh, what else um, like, uh, Kang the Conqueror uh, is on the way uh, so yeah so anyway nevertheless um, so this uh, just so just to summarize this Thanos will fit in perfectly and he is a nice little uh, size uh, as you can see here uh, he looks the part the colors and the paint scheme is all fantastic and gorgeous a little bit of blue and purple shading as how he is always intended to be with the sort of yellow but uh, more like gold yellow um shine to it and uh and then also i don't know whether the camera does this justice but in actual fact uh maybe you see everything blue here but in actual fact uh um to me it has a different colorations of blue and purple so there's more darker blue or purple here as opposed to his chest area and likewise so they, they, they've done a, a decent job a little bit of a nitpick here and there in terms of like uh, i don't know defects and whatnot but all you know is forgiven like i said i've come to a point where i've collected like uh, i don't know how much how many of these i have in my collection but after the i don't know the 20th 30th 40th whatever you tend to just ignore some small little uh, nit yeah, nitpicky things so uh, let's look at the figure itself so uh, what do we get um uh, obviously outside the accessories and whatnot the figure looks good but let's look at some articulation as uh, you can see the articulation he goes uh, that much high up and uh, as a villain he also has to look down on people and um, not much in the way actually because i don't see much of a hinge here for him to move his head it's only you know just about that and that so yeah not much in the movement of course it's in a ball joint so he can rotate his head and there is a, a tilt so that's pretty good uh obviously there's this massive piece around his uh, chest and collar uh, collar and as well as his shoulder area here where might impede no it's a it is plastic but uh you know it's not gonna get in the way i do see a hint so his arms can go forward by that much and can it go front by that much there is a bicep cut so there should be a swivel 
there is a bend to the elbow but that's not gonna go anywhere more than that so it's uh yes yeah, it's, it's okay i suppose and then of course uh, the uh, hands that can be rotated and inward by that much outward by that much of course in a fisty hands you don't see much of the range uh you know you could just about make that out but with some open hands is much more prominent you have the diaphragm cut that allows a little more, a lot of uh, crunch forward by that much and obviously it extends to the back so you have let's see uh, back by that much again not much of a movement and such there is a waist swivel this skirt piece here uh, does uh, sort of come out of the way uh, is it attached no yeah, it does come out of the way so that shouldn't hinder that much his legs go up by that much but his skirt gets in the way I don't know. sorry guys I don't know what the name for this uh, it could be something but I'm calling it skirt for now uh, mini skirt yeah that's a that's a word for it <laughs> Anyway, uh, the thigh cut, and then you have that thigh swivel. There's a double jointed knee, but that's uh, really not gonna go anywhere near his butt. Um, as such, uh, no shin as such, upward uh, feet down. Uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty decent. Uh, is there a pivoting? Uh, yeah, enough for a rocker motion. And let's see whether he can do the split. He probably could, because I do see the uh, hinges there. Except this uh, skirty thingy does get in the way. So I'm not going to explore a lot of the uh, articulation. I think for what it's worth for a figure of this size, it's okay, I suppose. So uh, all in all, like I said, uh, what else uh, do I need to review? I think he's okay. I think he works well. He's... Uh, a bit smaller than I would uh, expect, uh, let's say for a let's say a very prominent villain, uh, because uh, he's always uh, seen as someone uh, of an equal in height as let's say Hulk and whatnot. I don't know because my figures are at home, but uh, if I were to do a comparison, and perhaps you will check it out uh, in the later part of my video, uh, how he stacks up into the whole Marvel Universe thingy I'm, go uh, I'm going for. So, uh, what do I think of it? I think uh, if you need a villain, uh, especially a very essential villain in your collection uh, and one that uh, would go side by side with uh, the likes of the 80th anniversary, uh, let's say Captain America, the Thor, uh, Iron Man, uh, the Hulk uh, two-pack that comes with uh, the Wolverine, well, you'll see in my collection, that's what I'm, I'm trying to get here. Uh, this guy works uh, because what I'm going to go for is, of course, the snappy snappy because that's what he's known for anyway. Um, and uh, with that, I think uh, we can safely say that he, he works, you know, he is going to be the uh, ultimate villain of the Marvel Universe, just like I suppose uh, Darkseid will be for DC and, and whatnot. So he works, this is the look I was going for, and if there's any reason you want to buy Thanos, of course you could be the movie-verse fan, uh, I'm more the comic look fan, not necessarily, I, I know I, I'll be telling a lie if I said I read every single comic of uh, Marvel, but even there is a character to be bought, I always, always tend to go for the essential look or how it was conjured up to begin with. So, with that, and for that reason alone, I will pick this up. Uh, not necessarily you you guys will pick this up as well. Uh, up to you, to each his own. So with that, guys, I bid you farewell. And hopefully, hopefully, it wouldn't take uh, too long for me to put out other new videos. Uh, sorry about that. It's just that I've been busy, but uh, it's good to be back. So, as always, guys, take care, stay safe and all that. And until the next video, adios.
Who should give a fuck? You're just mad at me. Pink shit, no reality, girl. No one give a fuck. Take care of a house. You don't have a dad. Nah, I'm bugging so. Who ain't had shit? Nah, nah, yo. Let's be straight. Enemies. Mesh both take the cardio. Terminate. Too proud of my shorts. Take a turn and choose your enemy. Here we go. Making early on. Getting icy zone. Flexing. Mmm. I've been sorbing. Make it trendy. We look sexy. Here we go. Making early on. Getting icy zone. Flexing. Here we go.